We have breaking news. It is sad news to report Lisa Marie Presley, the daughter and only child of Elvis and Priscilla Presley, once married to Michael Jackson, then Nicolas Cage, has died. She was just 54 years old. She'd been hospitalized for cardiac arrest. CNN Entertainment reporter Chloe Milas joins us now with what we are learning. Chloe, what, what do we know? Anderson, just moments ago, a representative for Priscilla Presley and the Presley family released this statement to CNN saying Priscilla Presley and the Presley family are shocked and devastated by the tragic death of their beloved Lisa Marie. They are profoundly grateful for the support, love, and prayers of everyone and ask for privacy during this very difficult time. Anderson, like you said earlier this morning, CNN uh, confirmed that EMTs responded to Lisa Marie's residence in Calabasas, California, and that it was a possible cardiac arrest. Just a few hours ago, Priscilla Presley taking to Instagram, asking for prayers, thanking everyone for the outpouring of support um, with tons of comments being flooded by fans um, in just a matter of minutes and celebrities. I was at the Golden Globes uh, earlier this week in LA. I saw uh, Priscilla, I saw Lisa Marie. Uh, she definitely did not look like her usual glowing self. I didn't have a chance to speak to her, but I passed by her table. It was a really big night because Austin Butler, who portrayed her father in Baz Luhrmann's Elvis, he won a Golden Globe, and it was a very touching moment. I mean, even the audiences, at, the viewers at home saw her as she was staring at Austin as he gave this moving speech next to her mother. And we knew, you know, just how close Priscilla and Lisa Marie were. And it's been a really rough couple of years, Anderson, um, because Priscilla, uh, Lisa Marie lost her son to suicide uh, in 2020, and she opened up about that loss in a very emotional essay this past summer about dealing with grief and how hard it's been for her um, since the loss of her son, Benjamin. Um, but, you know, our thoughts go out to Priscilla, the entire family, and to Lisa Marie's children for what can be such an unimaginably difficult night for them. Yeah, Chloe, appreciate that. Joining us now by phone is Cena Stephanie Elam, who is recently with Lisa Marie Presley, uh, also at the Golden Globes, and Michelle Turner, host of Entertainment Tonight, who interviewed Lisa Marie Presley at, at the Golden Globes. Nichelle, um, how did she seem to you? What did you talk about? Anderson, I mean, I just heard Chloe say that she did not seem like her glowing self. Um, she was subdued. Um, we did notice that when speaking to her at the Golden Globes, but she was very happy to be there supporting the film, uh, supporting the, uh, the Elvis film, also supporting Austin Butler. She is a, was a big fan of his portrayal of her father, so she was happy to be there with him. Um, her mother was there as well, and they did sit together, but again, she did did seem a bit subdued. She did not um, seem, as I've interviewed her in the past, she didn't seem like that same person, more bubbly, more outgoing. But she was telling us that she was very happy to be there that night. And it was just a couple days after her father's birthday. And so she reflected on that, being having it Meaning, having it be such a special night um, to celebrate her father that night and just have celebrated his birthday a couple days before. Yeah, Stephanie Elam is also with us. Stephanie, you were at the Golden Globes as well. Yes, I understand. I was on the carpet, and I did see Lisa Marie walk uh, just right in front of us. And I have to agree with Chloe and with Michelle. She looked sallow. She seemed um, sort of curled into herself a little bit. She was walking several feet in front of her mother, um, and it just seemed like she was moving a little differently than what I've seen previously uh, when I've seen Lisa Marie out. Um, I would agree that she seems very happy to be there and supporting uh, this movie about her father. And you could see when Austin Butler won the award and he faced the Presley family, she looked like she had tears in her eyes. She looked very emotional about it. But definitely the way she was going down the carpet was very reserved and she did not seem like he felt well. And I actually thought that at the time and, and had a quick conversation about it. Like it just, there was something about the way she was moving that just did not look like um, she was at 100%. And then also just the distance between her and her mom as they're making their way down the carpet. It almost implied that she was just trying to get through the carpet and, and be done. You know, there's sometimes you see celebrities, they want to stop and talk, and other times they're just trying to get through it. That's the energy she was giving as she was making her way down the carpet, Anderson. And, and Nichelle, uh, I mean, you have probably seen her at many events, talked to her uh, uh, before. Um, 
she herself had a, her own music career. She uh, she had I think three records that that uh, that she put out. She was the only child of Elvis Presley. She was the executor of the the Presley estate, as far as I understand. Um, there was certainly a lot of. I mean, this is somebody who was born into this very famous family and lived a life in the public eye in a in a for for better or for worse uh, over the course of her whole life. Absolutely. I mean, she was the the apple of her father's eye uh, in so many ways. We saw that. But you're right. I mean, she did kind of live out her life in an eccentric way in front of us, married to Michael Jackson um, before married to Nicolas Cage. And, you know, she does have a a daughter as well. Riley, her son, did uh, commit suicide. Um, We heard or had death by suicide, you know, a couple of years ago. So she was dealing with grief. This family knows about grief and knows about what it what it is. is to live that out publicly. Um, she 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 did love music. She did love you know. She loved her father. She she was behind this film one hundred percent. She was behind the portrayal of her father one hundred percent. She was actually on our platform with Austin Butler on uh, Golden Globes night, and he and they both spoke so lovingly about how they all stuck together through this process of making this film, and how they all leaned on each other and relied on each other and cared so much about each other. He continues to speak about the fact that he couldn't have gotten through it without the support of Lisa Marie and her mother Priscilla, um, you know, and portraying and portraying their father, but just. Just like Chloe and and Stephanie were both um, saying, Anderson, she did not seem at 100 percent strength uh, and, that night, Sunday night. And we also had a conversation about it that she just didn't seem herself. And Michelle, it's certainly a big burden for uh, an only child like her with the Presley estate to be the the person Absolutely. responsible for continuing the legacy of, uh, you know, the remarkable legacy of, of Elvis Presley. And I think this film was very so important to her because it is really introducing Elvis Presley to whole new generations of people around the world who may not, uh, you know, who didn't grow up with him, who weren't alive even when he was alive. And so the, the weight of that, the responsibility of that, um, it's clearly, it's probably why she wanted to be there uh, even if she wasn't feeling particularly great uh, at the Golden Globes. Absolutely. I, and she she was determined to continue to celebrate her father's legacy and to, like you said, introduce him to more audiences. And it's interesting, I just had a conversation about that also with Baz Luhrmann on Sunday, how they went and were celebrating on Elvis's birthday, showing this film to fans, and how they had such a cross-section of people there celebrating Elvis and this film and celebrating his legacy. It was, you know, from young to old, and it was really, he said, very special for them to see because they do feel like this film then, um, you know, opened him up to a whole new audience. And I, I remember at the premiere of this film speaking to Lisa Marie about it, and also when they got the hand and footprint ceremony, uh, her and her mother uh, a few months ago, talking to her about this fact, and she said, you know, that's why they were so determined to have a hand in this, because they wanted it to be right. They needed it to be right, and they were so happy that this film was so well received and that Austin Butler did such an amazing amazing job portraying um, her father because it was her life's mission to continue, uh, you know, his legacy of good work and good music. Yeah. Uh, Michelle Turner, Stephanie Elam, I appreciate both of you being with us. Uh, again, Lisa Marie Presley has died at the age of 54.